Hey everybody, David Plummer and Michael Ferguson here from Aerial Influence. This is our podcast. This is season three, episode four. We're talking drones and agriculture today. We're getting into the big drones, the T-16, the DJI T-16 and the MG-1P. These are the spraying drones. Everybody wants to know about these. Everybody wants to see these fly. They're the biggest hits every time we do any sort of a demo. You're one of the early adopters. I mean, for yeah. sure. Like. Before I came on board here, you the, you were one of the first people in the country probably to have one of these drones in your hands before anybody else did. You were definitely early yeah, adopter. I mean, so what got you interested in it originally? I, I, I guess the biggest thing was that it was definitely a tool. I yeah. mean, it was a drone that was specifically made for, you know, uh, one or two purposes. In this case, you know, it was uh, spraying some type of liquid or spreading something. Mm -hmm. And, um, as we found out, I mean, it's not just crops, corn, soybeans. I mean, you could do anything from ponds. You could do uh, golf courses. All, there's all kinds of things that you exactly. could do. Exactly. Um, Mosquito abatement. Right. Yeah. So I, I think th that was the big thing was it was a very specific tool, hmm. you know, where everything else was just a camera and people were trying to do other things with it or attach other things. Um, but you know, at the same time, you, you were finding that uh, you know there are there are some uh, I don't know if caveats is the right word, but you know there, there's there's some things that you have to look at because it's a lot it's different than the regular just getting a 107 remote right. pilot license. You've got to you, you got yeah. a lot to do actually. I mean right. that that's one of the things I think that we you know initially uh, was a surprise because I think a lot of people think that you can just go, oh, cool, I can go buy a drone and spray. get my 107 and I can go spray my backyard for weeds or whatever. Right. Um, first of all, that probably would be very cost effective. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> secondly, uh, that's it's not that easy. You essentially, and we're going to get into this in the next episode, actually, yeah. where we're going to talk about the difference between the 107 and the 137. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of hoops you have to jump through to be able to spray from these drones. Legally, yeah. But, right. Legally. But so before we get into that in the next Next episode, let's talk about the differences in these two drones, the MG-1P yeah. and the T-16. Yeah, so I mean, just a little bit of background. I mean, they first came out, uh, I think, in 2015-16 uh, with the MG-1, then they had the MG-1S, they have like 1S RTK, then they came out with the MG-1P. So um, with the MG series, it's always been an octocopter. Um, they, they've then added um, more precision with RTK, they've added the FPV camera so you can kind of see different things. They actually added lights on um, the MG1P as well. So if you, um, you know, were doing night operations or, you know, something that was, you know, at dusk or something. Um, then the T16 came out and that was basically a complete different, you know, rebuild. Yeah. Um, it's, it's also heavier. So it's over the 55 pound mark. So then there's an even more of a, you know, okay, now, now you got to ask for something that's, you know, if, uh, exemption process, you right. have to ask for something that's over 55 pounds. Um, Cause most people know that the 107 uh, unmanned aerial, you know, certificate is basically 55 pounds and under. And under, yes. Yeah, I mean, with the T-16, they've, they've it's now um, a hexacopter, uh, it's bigger. It's much easier to get, get to the battery and the tank. They're yeah. all top mount. So everything and just comes out. And, and then you can refill it because basically that's right. the idea is these drones are automated so they're going to fly on their own path you're really the pilot is really there after they've made the map they're really there just to refill pesticide and refill battery yeah and, make, and make sure everything's working right make sure it's all working properly and we want to be clear as well so we get really mixed uh really mixed you know reaction from crop dusters uh, you know yep. some of right. them uh, think that this is the coolest thing ever and they see this as a great tool they see drones as a great tool for them to maybe reach areas they've not been able to reach with uh, with a traditional airplane. Others are terrified of us. They think we're trying to take away their business and we're not. We understand that drones are a, a tool in the agricultural world. They're not gonna replace crop dusting planes. They're not gonna replace, you know, uh, they're not gonna replace anything. They're gonna be an addition to somebody's farm that's gonna help them get things done more economically, uh, safer and hopefully faster as well. All right, that's all we got for this episode. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. In the next episode, we're gonna be talking about the FAA 137 and the FAA 107 license, what they are, what the difference is, why you need them if you wanna fly a spraying drone, especially. We're gonna be talking about that in our next episode, episode five. We'll see you next time.